Hello, this is Stuart, Golden Middle Distance Races, my channel. And we're going to go back to 1983. Steve Cram, one of his great years, and he's running in Brussels over 1500 meters, running a very fast time. So let's let's see him go. Champion and Commonwealth champion Steve Cram in action here. David Coleman commentating. Just race. turn that down right a bit. Like so you can see they've gone off very quickly. There's been talk of a world record attempt, and it'll be interesting to see whether they really go for those figures. So this really is Cram, probably 1983, the first year when you could say that he was, uh, well, obviously 82 he won the European Championships, but in 83 he really came into uh, top class form. It's a big field, Cram's in second there, three metres back from the pacemaker. So they go through 300 meters at about 40 seconds. Quite well, fast, quite fast. The pacemaker's unable to keep up that pace. You can see Cram closing down on him. Yeah, I thought so. 54.6. I thought that going through 300 meters in 40 seconds was a shade fast. Oslo, where he ran the world's fastest 800 meters this year. Cram in his famous yellow vest, often seen in those colours. Walker there seems to be near nearer the back. Some great records over the years on that Brussels track. Of course, there was Co. running uh, a fast time in 1981, yeah, over the mile. So the field's quite well stretched out. A good sign that it is fast. So they've gone through about in 138. So uh, 138, yeah, it's not a bad time. Let's see what it is at 800. He shared in some marvellous runs and he shared in the pace making. He's just the right talent to take it up. If Sammy Koski can't yeah, 153. About just right, really, for that kind of record they're chasing. Of course, Ovet's the record holder, 331.36 at this particular time. Cram's now taking it on. Or has he? I think that he's just about. Yeah, the pacemaker looks like he's kind of in lane two, letting Cram through. Good pacemaking that. I like the way he moved out of the way for Cram. We've seen pacemakers impede Co Ovet. So Bascal there is uh, putting pressure on Cram, which is good for the time. Going through in about 2.36. Same sort of time he went through in Nice in 85 and he ended up on 3.29. So same sort of style. Cram really going for it at 300 out. He's really opened up some distance between him and Abascal. 2.49. And the rest is struggling. He's really, it just shows the difference in class. Look at the gap he's opened up. See, off a fast pace, the rest are floundering and he's going strong. He's looking pretty good coming around the uh, home straight. He's grimacing, it's hurting. Three thirty-one point six. Now I'd like to say to you, uh, <clears throat> look at the way that Cram was grimacing, his head was rolling, and compare that with uh, Ovet when he set the world record in nineteen eighty in Koblenz, and he looked completely effortless. It makes you realise that Ovet and indeed Co, of course, in their best years, should really have run much faster than they did. And we, we see here Cram at absolutely flat out. It doesn't look like he could have gone any faster. Um, you know, if the splits had been different, maybe he could have got closer to the record. Let's just have a look and come back and watch him uh, off the off with 120 meters to go. That's uh, Ovet's mark there, 331.36. Beautiful uh, long leg action that he's got. Yeah, you can see he knows, he's seen, he really wanted he really wanted to break the world record. But he had to run 
put so much of his own there. It really took it out of him. And his attempt on the last lap to get the new world record figures. Well, he deserved a little bit more help earlier than that. Graham storming away. He's feeling the pain. You can see the clock ticking away ahead. See the pain. And he was so close. And in fact, he's run now into third on the all-time list. Behind Steve. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, the difference the difference there in you know, just the way that Ovet set his world record and the way that Cram here ran slower by a few tenths. It didn't look to me like Cram could have run any faster on this evening. Whereas Ovet definitely that night, you know. I think he could have run inside three thirty. Okay, well, that's enough. Um, still a great run by Cram. Fantastic. 331.6. In those days, and indeed in these days, uh, you know, it's a very, very, uh, very, very fast time. And probably on modern tracks, you know, with modern spikes, etc. It's about, I don't know, maybe two seconds faster. That would be like a 329 today. That's all for now. I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye for now.